Hey guys, welcome back. This is Salman Francis of LZH Project and this is part two of our Linux networking, uh, basic networking video series. And if you remember in our last discussion where we set up the permanent uh, IP address in our Slackware box with the netconfig command. And I will continue my discussion here. And there is another uh, way of setting up a permanent uh, IP address in Slackware. And uh, once after completing the Slackware, we will move to CentOS, but uh, let me finish with Slackware first. So there is one more uh, command, or you can say one more option. Uh, let's say if config is 0, uh, it's 192.168.1.229. Okay, to change um, IP address in Slackware the other way, we need to edit a file, vim, etc rc.d inet1.conf oh sorry about rc.inet1.conf okay and over here you just scroll to the place where it says ip address here it is okay press i to insert let's change it to 228 okay press escape colon wq write and quit okay and this time uh, let's if config eth zero it's not changed but we need to restart the interface so let's restart it etc rc dot d rc dot inet uh, one restart okay and it has changed actually let me show you you can now ping 192.168.1.228 perfect so let me ju let's just close this uh, kill the session and create a new session just a minute Okay, and now Tmux again. Six okay. A dot one dot two two eight. So that's the other way. And this time, if we use if config it's zero, we can say it's one nine two dot one six eight one dot two two eight. But how we can check that if this change is permanent? RC dot D RC dot inet one restart, and this time it's not going to disconnect. Perfect. So that's the second uh, way of changing networking in or per, uh, changing the IP address permanently in Slackware. Okay. Okay, so let's move to our CentOS box. Okay. Up here. And let me kill this Tmux process. Okay. Okay, so we already uh, checked how to change the settings in Slackware. So now let's start our discussion with CentOS. So to check IP address in CentOS 7, you use IPADDR show. And it will reveal that our device is ENP0S3 and the ether or the MAC address is 0800277902 and IP address is 192.168.1.3 okay so to check route in CentOS we use IP route show command and it says that default is 192.168.1.1 and the device is ENP0S3 you can also use route tell command just a minute with less and it will 
say tons of information 192.168.1.0 is the network gateways 192.168.1.1 and lots of other uh, information with this route tell command you can also use um, IPADD sorry uh, okay so these are the two in most important information okay and because I have already told you that I am using uh, the net uh, tools command uh, like the package also in my CentOS 7 so I can also use write route dash n command and net stat dash r command so they give the same information as they were giving in slackware okay okay now if we need to change the IP address on a fly it's not going to be permanent we use first we need to remove the current IP address IPA DDR show okay so remove it IP ADDR delete 192.168.1.3 device is CN P0S3 okay clear okay so IP address is gone we can enable this IP address like we can add the IP address with ADDR add 192.168.1.200 let's say slash 24 P0S3 okay and IPADDR show will reveal that it's 192.168.1.200 then we can ping it ourselves okay perfect but let me restart the network system CTL restart network and you'll see that this IP address is gone and our old IP address is back so that's why it's a uh, not permanent so we can use uh, there are two three ways we will see one is the utility called NMT UI okay over here you can just go to edit the connections change here to 200 just tab press ok and quit clear show uh, IP ADDR show will reveal it's still the same so we need to system CTL restart network this is how you uh, restart network in CentOS 7 okay clear IP ADDR show will reveal that it's the new address has taken place and it's working fine okay how we can add uh, uh, an extra IP address in our CentOS 7 on the fly it's very simple use the IP AD, ADDR utility again use add command this time 192 give the IP address let's say 40 and device is P 0 S 3 okay and it, this time if we use IP ADDR show you will see two different IP addresses one is 192.168.1.200 and the other is 192.168.1.40 but this is also not permanent but it's usable at the moment you can see that okay perfect system CTL restart network okay so we are back okay now to make and the other way to make this um, IP address permanent instead of using the NMT UI utility we will edit the configuration file okay I don't have vim so vi etc sysconfig network dash script and over here you will see this if cfg and the device 
uh, name. So this is the file we are going to edit. Okay, and over here you can just go to this line where it shows IPADDR and you can just change it. Change it to whatever you like. Let me change it back to the original one. Okay, over here you can change the gateway as well, uh, the prefix, the DNS. If you want, you can add another DNS entry over here. Make sure that it's set to uh, yes on boot. And the boot proto is over here, it's none. You can use static. Okay, that's it. Escape, write and quit, system CTL. restart network okay and show sorry IP ADDR show will reveal that it's back to 1.3 and it's pinging Google perfect okay one more thing I would like to mention here to get more information you can always use the manuals and help for example if config dash dash help will reveal the help and you can use man if config and it will give you the if config manual the same way you will use man ip addr and it will give you the manual for ip addr okay next uh, we will see how to add routes in centos and slackware but let's check uh, how we can make how we can add routes in uh, centos uh, first and as always first we will try to add the route which are not persistent or which will change on the reboot or uh, networking uh, or upon uh, restarting of the network so let's check our route first route dash n will reveal that at the moment we have 192.168.1.0 and our gateway is 192.168.1.1 so let's uh, let's say I would like to add one more network uh, and to my routing table so I'll use a static route and the command is route add let's call it 10.1.1.0 uh, this is the network and gateway is 192.168.1.1 okay so route dash n will reveal that it's 10.1.1.0 so it's perfect so this is uh, the route has been added but upon again if I restart the network you will see that the route is gone so how we can make route persistent in CentOS again we need to go to etc sysconfig network dash script okay let's cd into this okay and over here you need to create a file uh, we will call it vi route dash uh, enp 0 s3 so it's going to be the file name is going to be route and then your device name okay so my device is enp 0 s3 so therefore this is how I'm going to uh, make this file okay and all you have to do is you need to press insert 10.1.1 0 slash 24 via 192.168.1.1 that's it escape write and quit and system restart network okay route dash n perfect now our route is permanent uh, even if the system reboots or the network restarts it will remain persistent system ctl restart network again and route is there so that's how we add persistent route in centos and now let me show you quickly there are two utilities to check in the status of your uh, interface it's called if stat and it will give you a clean a good way of uh, the stats of your interface then there is if top also the processes uh, so it's not installed here we can use jum hyphen y install if top
okay if top will give us a good information about our network and the interface so you can check for for these utilities more on uh, google or uh, like in uh, my next articles or next video sorry so at the moment this is it what i would like to discuss now control c i am going to use ssh and i'm going to go into my slackware where i'm going to show you how you can uh, i forgot the ip address of slackware box it was let me check okay it's 228 okay now i'm in slackzilla okay so how to add routes in slackware it's the same way route hyphen n will reveal that uh, it's 192.168.1.0 and the loopback addresses or network is in the uh, route routing table so to add route again route add 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and gateway is 192.168.1.1 Dave is it zero. Okay, I'm missing something. Here it is. Okay, route n and the network has been successfully added. But if we restart the network, etc rc dot d rc dot one restart you will see that route is gone okay and it took me two hours to figure out how you can add persistent routes or how you can make routes persistent in slackware okay but uh, one more thing i would like to mention there is a file it's called it's basically in etc rc.d and the file is local, rc.local, this file, okay? And in this file, you can see that you can add the command, like I have added here. Um, the problem is this route add dash net 10.1.1.0 forward slash 24 gateway. Uh, this uh, file will help you when your system reboots then it will automatically add these routes to the uh, routing table. But if you restart the network, these routes will go away. So this uh, file is not only, like it's only going to help you for a while, but upon the network restart, your routes will be, uh, your routes, routes will go away. So again, you can check by uh, restarting the network. Uh, it's not going to be any helpful or restart the system and these routes will come on okay so how to make the routes persistent in slackware that is the big question so it took me two hours as i was telling you earlier to figure out this and the really it's really simple how you can do that so to do that just go to etc rc.d rc.inet1 this is the main file which handles network in slackware and you just go to the very end of this file here and add this line slash sbin route add dash net 10.1.1.0 slash 24 gateway is 192.168.1.1 so this is going to be your network or the network you would wish to add this is the subnet mask and your gateway like these are mine uh, my settings so your setting of course my is going to be different so just make sure you fill the blanks up so the network is this and gateway is this now write and quit and this time route dash n will show nothing but upon system restart or network restart you will see the magic perfect 
So the route is there. You can see 10.1.1.0 and all the routes are here. How many times you restart the network, the routes are going to be persistent and they're not going to fade away. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned something and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel Linux King and hope to see you in third video we will discuss uh, more tools networking tools tcp dump and a lot of good stuff so thank you and goodbye